everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Very big episode today, as you guys can see. We're all about, uh, we're all about a project that I've been working on, man. As you guys can see, tons of Randy Orton figures. We got lots of Randy Orton elites and figures in front of us here. We got some on the stretcher. We got plenty in the lineup, as well as Elite 94 Edge. We got some good stuff going on. I cannot wait to dive into surgery today. And we're going to have a surgery probably really close back to back because you guys know in our really big $400 mystery unboxing. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check it out. Big fan of the channel, Ty sent us a big old box of goodies that was unbelievable. We're so incredibly grateful for that package. And now we are able to complete a project I've been wanting to do for a little while now, man. And it's going to be epic. I can't wait for it. Today, we're diving into surgery where we are going to finally do something that I've been wanting to do with all these Randy Orton figures. But in that mystery unboxing, we got a lot more figures. And I did not think that today we could include every single thing because today we have so much to do in this video that we're not going to have time to do every single thing from that video. So we'll probably have surgery back to back. I don't know what episode we're on, but we're working up there, man. It's incredible. It's been a while since surgery, so Dr. Whitekiss may be rusty. Kind of don't need to be rusty for today's project because we have so much going on, but let's shut the hell up, dive into what we have on action figure surgery, and let's start off with the man on the stretcher, which is going to be the SummerSlam Elite Randy Orton figure. Now, this figure right here, pretty much the only of its kind. I have actually, so I don't have to do it with this figure, so you're probably thinking, oh, are you going to take the Elite 9? I've actually already done this fix up where we put this torso over here. It's over there on my shelf. I don't remember showing it in the video. Maybe I did. You guys can remind me. But we're going to actually do something different with this guy. We're going to take the new top talents figure. I already have this figure, so I, I went ahead and ordered another one as Edge falls out of his wheelchair. Bless his soul. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and put it over here. So I want to have the legend killer look of Randy in these trunks right here. And then I'm going to put solid black knee pads on here. I don't know if I'll use these. I may just use these just because it'll be easier. But I think that's the way we're going to go. I think that's the way to go. And this is actually going to be some trunks that he wore when he was the Legend Killer or this era of Randy Orton right here. In the Ruthless Aggression era, put this top half over on these black, yellow, silver trunks right here will be really sweet. And then putting these black knee pads over here will be sweet. I'm not going to put this torso over here simply because I already have that fix up. I don't think there'd be a reason to do two of them. But who knows? I guess crazier things have happened. But a good thing about the all of these Randy Orton torsos is we only have to switch the, the top part. We don't have to take off the bottom part which is going to be excellent. It's going to clean things up very much. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to do these swaps, and it's going to make it a whole lot less of a headache. So that's the first switch that we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and get into the wheelchairs. We also have Cesaro right here. We're going to be putting this torso onto the Elite 94 Edge. This is the torso they should have gave him, but in the white gear with the double jointed arms, this Edge is going to look a hell of a lot better with this ripped up hairy chest torso. This is going to be sweet. I can't wait for it. We've done it before with the Elite 83 and the Elite 83 Chase. Now we're going to do it with this figure. I want to do it with the Ultimate because the Ultimate's god ugly. Need to do that as well, but this is something I want to do too. So we're going to put this Cesaro torso over here and that'll look really, really sweet. Next up, I mean, it is Randy Orton Marathon, man. As you guys know, I ordered every Randy Orton. So I already have all these Randy Ortons, but what I want to do is I want to take all of the older Elite Randy Ortons. I want to take the Elite 2, the Elite 35 over here, the Elite 49 back here. I think this is the best of pay-per-view over here. We got the Elite 16. We got what the elite nine i think it's what the elite 12 or something like that i got all of these off ebay different trunks colors i'm missing the elite 21 and i'm missing the all stars so all it is is the black and gray trunks and then the black with white designs it's not this it's like it's it's this design but instead of red graphics it's got gray for the elite 21 and then for the all stars it's black with white graphics now i do own those figures i just only own one of them so i don't want to sacrifice the original ones that i have i'm going to order used ones on ebay and and then swap those. But we're going to take all of these and switch the upper torsos with these Elite 90 Randy Ortons in white trunks. So we will have all these different trunks colors of Randy with the updated double jointed arms, torsos, and head sculpts. Now I do have extra head sculpts to fit the era depending on what it is. His tattoos have been slightly updated but I think with the double jointed arms and this head sculpt it's going to look really really sick. I can't wait to see what it looks like and this head sculpt's super removable like right this is interchangeable so I'll I could easily just pop it off and put on a new Randy Orton head, but we have 10 of these Elite 90 Randys, and we only have, what, like seven of these figures, so we gotta do a lot of torso swaps. We're gonna have a lot of Randy Orton fodder laying around. It's gonna be epic. I can't wait, but we cannot do it in here. We're gonna have to take it over to my damn kitchen and get started on what we got going. It should be a fun day, man. Let's dive into surgery, switch all these torsos, and find out what the final results will look like. 
All right, man, here we are in my damn kitchen. As you guys can see, we got the Randy Ortons. We got the edges, all the Randy Ortons. I think we are legitimately going to try and do 18 different torso swaps here today, man. I am right here. I got my Toy Story towel. Got the trusty screwdriver here. You know, it's just, uh, I, honestly, when you do a torso crack, you don't want to use a long neck screwdriver like this, to be honest with you. But I think I've got the technique down so much that I think I'll be able to do it. We'll have to see about that. But in a typical fashion, you'd want like a shorter, thicker screwdriver. That way, you know, it's it's got more reinforcement instead of being so far away. But we'll see. Hopefully, I don't F anything up. But here's the screwdriver we're going to use. And since we have so many figures here to try and knock it out the best way possible, I got this big pot right here. I got this big red pot. I don't know if it... I think this is its second appearance on the channel. Maybe it's first. It could be its third. I don't know. I'm going to take this. I'm going to fill this with water, boil this, wait till it is boiling water, get it to about a simmer to where it's not getting any hotter. We're going to keep it around the same temperature. Then we're going to throw all the figures in there, leave them in there for about four or five minutes. I will then pull them out with tongs, put them on the towel, dry them off, and try to torso crack every single one of these. So I don't know how it's going to go. It could be very ugly. We'll have to find out, but let's fill this thing with water, start the boil process, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright man, so while we wait for that to boil, these are the tools I'm going to use to retrieve the figures out of the boiling water. Obviously, this is not the best case scenario. This is not what I want to use, to be honest with you, but I couldn't find my tongs, so it looks like we're going to be rolling with these utensils right here. Hopefully, it'll be very easy. The spatula and this one are my go-to. That way, I can scoop it up and the water will drain out, and then I can come over here and then just flop it. You know, like lunch lady in the line, just flop. Just get the flop. Just get it on there. Flop, flop. Let the figure get all the excess water, dab it with a towel and then be done. I have my super glue right here. This is the super glue I will be using. Fine tip, you know, got to get it going, but I am not looking forward to this, to be honest with you. I'm looking forward to the end result. I am not looking forward to trying to crack 18 torsos in one go. This is definitely the most torsos I've ever done. I think the most before this is maybe six at the most, so let's get it going. Alright man, the water is boiling right here. I do believe it's boiling. I'm not going to add all the figures to the thing, but what I'm going to do, what I'm actually going to do is hold them in my hand with this towel. That way when I toss them in there, it doesn't explode because sometimes the difference in temperature can cause the thing to kind of erupt like a volcano and I don't want to burn my flesh off. Even though the towel, it can seep through the towel. You guys get the point. Actually, let's just test it. Oh God, I'm afraid, man. I'm so afraid. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, man, that is the final result. I plugged every single figure in there. I did not think we'd be able to get all of them in there, but we actually did, so that, that was a huge success. But they are boiling now. I got the timer going. We're about halfway through there. Water is extremely hot. I did check that, you know. I think a lot of them I'll be able to get out by hand, at least the ones with the legs up. They don't have to go to the scooper and, you know, try to do it, you know, kind of just very slowly there. But I think we should have no problem getting these torsos off. Hopefully, it will be the case. I hope that, you know, it's not enough pressure to, like, blow up because that happens in the microwave sometimes. But here they are. I thought it called for a pretty cool visual, so I wanted to get that on camera. But I'll see you guys when we are scooping them out. All right, man, I've turned the heat down. Now I can take them out one by one, get them over there, dry them off, and then we will torso crack, I guess. I don't know what the next segment will be. I guess I'll have all the figures over there, and then you guys will see me trying to torso crack them. I'll just set the camera up and try to, you know, just torso crack them one by one and hopefully not burn my face off. All right, man, here's the first batch. A lot of them are, like, rubber, bro. Like, the way... Like, I picked this one up. Look at that right there. Like, look look how just flimsy they all are, honestly. Like, the torso could fall apart just by looking at it, I feel like. I honestly have no idea what to believe here. I mean, these could just, like, I, I don't even know what to say, honestly. And I may have to even dub over this because I don't even know how good the audio is going to be and all that stuff. But hopefully, these torso cracks are relatively easy. I mean, it, honestly, it doesn't matter that much about, like, these old figures right here because all you have to do is even if this top portion breaks as long as we don't break the elite 90 ordens it's not really going to matter because it's not like i'm putting this onto the white orton you know what i mean like it's not that it's not that deep but yeah this one's already giving me trouble probably because it's so old like this is literally elite 2 randy orton so 
I don't know, may have to add him back to the water, but I don't know. I'm putting him back in the water. For the rest of them, I have the water just kind of simmering over there at a boil. That way, you know, they stay hot and they stay ready to go and it's not like something, but there goes that head sculpt. Now remember, we are putting this one, we are putting this one onto the new Top Talents body. I feel like, again, newer torsos are easier to crack. Like you guys can probably already hear that one. Like, look at that right there, bro. I barely even had to do it. I don't know if it's because it's like a newer figure and so the glue's not as settled or I don't know. I don't know if that's just, maybe they don't use as strong of chemical glue now. I don't, I don't know what the deal is there, but we pretty much got that one. I'm not going to completely separate them unless they just completely fall off. I mean, this one's pretty, yeah, there you go. So that Orton's done. He was loosey-goosey anyway, but there's that one. Now we're moving on to the Elite. 35 one here we go again hopefully a lot of these are really really easy i find it best to go from the back and just kind of you know wiggle it right there seems like we got that side and then come in from the back right there and look at that right there that one came off pretty easy too so there you go that's what you want man you want them to be super easy you don't want them to fight you it should not be Oh, I forgot about the head sculpt. Do not forget about the head sculpt it won't come apart unless you pop the head sculpt off but you don't want any stress marks you don't want them fighting you. You want this to be a really clean and simple deal. That's all we got to do, man. We just got to, I mean, I got to do this process, what, 15 more freaking times? So that'll be fun. But yeah, we're just knocking it out little by little, one by one. That's how we have to do it. So some of these have marks on them too. But I'll see you guys once we get all of them cracked, I guess, because I don't want to sit here and just talk and chat forever here. All right, Brad. Well, I got some good news and I got some bad news. So the good news is we did get some stuff done. We did get some stuff done that was successful, but... But the bad news is we had some unsuccessful stuff and a lot of it was kind of out of my control to be honest with you. The reason you don't see all the Ortons up here is because of this right here. Maybe somebody out there knows the secret to this or what I can do about this. There's a few different things I can do. I didn't butcher any of the torsos when I cracked them. That is not the issue here. It is the issue with this. I don't know if you guys can even tell really what's going on with these but these older figures, I think this is the best of pay-per-view, the Elite 16 in the Elite 9 or 12. I think it's the Elite 12, maybe. Do you notice what the deal is? They have like this, so when I boiled these to torso crack them, they ended up getting really foggy. Their trunks are really foggy and it. I guess it's like just a chemical reaction or something. But you guys can like, I, I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, look at this figure right here and then look at this. You see how like foggy the trunks are and how foggy the plastic looks? I don't know what that is. I get like, if anybody knows how to like counter react that or make it where it doesn't look like any, that anymore i tried cold air and cold water i tried different stuff but the figures look just I, I don't know i guess the plastic's burnt i don't know i don't i don't know what's going on here but it seems like older figures tend to do this this cesaro over here did the same thing and i tried to crack this anyway to put on to put on the edge torso this is the toughest torso i've ever tried to crack in my entire life i got this off ebay it's an old elite 23 cesaro i have done it multiple times with this figure before this one's not having it. I, I guess that God himself sealed this torso up in the Mattel factory because I have boiled the hell out of it. I've tried torso cracking it. It is just not coming loose, man. And I don't know what to do about it, but I couldn't get Edge done because of that reason and I didn't want to break it. So I'll probably go back to the drawing board. But these figures right here, I guess what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to reorder all three of these elites and then only dip the top part of their torso in there to torso crack instead of the whole deal. See if I can just get the top part of that torso torso off because that's what we did with the elite 90s over here so you guys can kind of see that fogginess i don't know man it pissed me off though i've been at this for like five hours trying to get this done so i do apologize that we didn't get them all done but we did get a significant amount done a lot of these boots are loose as well i didn't do the cleanup on them like uh, there's some you'll notice on this torso right here see that smudge on the chest some of them have little paint marks and some of them have little things i need to acetone off and some of them have loose boots i just i'm mentally fried now bro i am mentally fried and i I have to go back to the drawing board one day and finish all of these up, but they all look great. They really, really do. Like, you guys can see the updated Randy Orton formula. Looks really good on the Elite 35 right here. Look how sweet that looks. I, I, I mean, I am... They turned out great. The ones that worked turned out great. I hate that not all of them work, but here is the Elite 9, I think it is, in the black and yellow. Another beautiful looking one with the torso, the double jointed arms. Just, just magnificent. It really is. I think they all came to fruition. The ones that we actually got to complete turned out beautiful. This one right here is 
one that I didn't even really plan on doing, but since I had an extra Elite 49, I went ahead and did, you know, the, the WrestleMania when he fought The Undertaker. Now we have that updated look for him there. Pretty cool trunks design. I made another of the SummerSlam 04 just because I already have one of these. You guys can see the mark on the tit right there. Kind of looks like a nipple, but I already had this figure, but I went ahead and made another fix up. So now we have, we have two of them. So that's pretty cool there. You guys saw the Elite 2 version. Here it is in the blue and black. Very sweet stuff right here. All of these look great. They really turned out great. Again, some of them have loose boots, so they want to fall over as I as I state it there. This is the Legends Killer version on the top the top talents. I like this a lot as well. Turned out great. I don't know why this, this waist is loose, though. I'm going to have to do like the super glue method or something and get that waist much, much tighter because that bothers me a lot. But I got to switch the knee pads and I got to switch the boots because this boot right here is super loose as well. They're actually both loose, so I don't know. Maybe the top talents Randy Orton is, a, is one of those that just gets loose. I don't know, but anyways, man, that is surgery. I hate that, you know, Dr. Wadick has kind of failed today, or I just feel like a failure because I've been working on, I worked on it for so long. I did my absolute best to, to make it come to fruition for you guys. I got all the ones that I that I possibly could done, and I know the footage was crap, and I did everything I could, but I wanted to meet you back here. I wanted to get it all on video, but it would have been like hours long of me just sitting there frustrated, and it just, I don't know, man. It, it was tough news today. Anyways, man, uh, I just, I gotta get out of here, bro. I'm very, very frustrated, but today's random shot is gonna go to Michelle Kelly, who says, I would like an MDT figure with a stuck in the pose rubber jacket, and that was classic. You guys know that we always harp on the rubber jackets, and yesterday I talked about a tweet that I put up on Twitter. If you guys want to retweet and like it, you can go over there. I hit hashtag AskMajorPod, and I asked the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast on Twitter if there would ever be any way possible to get an MDT figure. Michelle Kelly came back with a humor about that and said that they wanted an MDT figure with the stuck in that pose jacket, and what, what irony would that be, Brad? That'd be some good irony, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Huge shout out to Michelle Kelly for the comment. Made me chuckle. Always enjoy a good chuckle. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day, and I apologize about the surgery, man. At least we got, you know, we, we got halfway, you know, we, I feel like we got, what, half of them done? We got half of them done, or, you know, some of them. So that, you know, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta take your L's on the chin, come back stronger next time, but we're gonna get those fix-ups done, damn it. You cross